Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, we'll understand our question. The program has to accept the integer a and b as the input and then print the Hamming distance between a and b as the output so what is the hamming distance it's nothing but the number of positions where the bits of a and b are different so first we are going to accept the integer a and b and print the hamming distance between a and b so that what is hamming distance is that the number of positions where the bits of a and b are different so we'll take our first test case so 12 and 4 so the binary value of 12 is 1100 0, 0, and the binary value of 4 is 100. 0, 0. So for 12, we have 4 and 4 bits, and here it is only 3 bits. So we'll pad zeros at the front. So now you can see that the last two, that is 0 and 0, are similar and also the one and one is also similar but the first bit that is one and zero are not similar so there is one position where the bits of a and b are different so one will be our output now we'll take our another test case so here we have 10 and 5. So the binary value of 10 is 1010 0, 1, 0, and binary value of 5 is 101. 1. So we'll pad 0 at the front to make it equal. So 1010 0, 1, 0, which is the binary value of 10 and for 5 it is 0101. 0, 1, 0, 1. And now we can see that all positions are different in the bits of A and B. So 4 will be our output. Now we'll understand the logic of this program. First we have to accept the input A and B. And then we'll have a variable called as count equal to zero. And then we'll run a while loop. So while a greater than zero or b greater than zero. So now we are going to check the condition that is if a is a mod two is not equal to b mod 2 that is when you see 10 10 mod 2 is 0 and 5 mod 2 is 1 so you can see 10 mod 2 is here that is 0 and 5 mod 2 is 1 so it is here so since they are not equal will increment by 1 and also here we should divide it by 2 to remove that so if a mod 2 is not equal to Z b mod 2 then we have to increment the count by 1 and after that a will be divided by so we should divide both a and b by 2 
So let's understand how this works. Finally, we'll print the count. So to understand how this works, let us consider the test case 10 and 5. So the binary of 10 and 5 is there. So now first thing you have to do is we should do 10 mod 2. So 10 mod 2 is 0. So 10 mod 2 is equal to 0 and then 5 mod 2 is equal to 1. So you can see they are not equal. So we'll increment the count by 1 and divide both A and B by 2. So when we divide both A and B by 2, that is 10 by 2 is 5 and 5 by 2 is 2. And now here we'll divide, that is we'll do mod operation with 5 mod 2 is 1 and 2 mod 2 is 0. Here also it is not similar. So we'll increment the count by 1 and divide both A and B by 2. So 5 by 2 is 2 and 2 by 2 is 1. And now again we do the mod operation. So 2 mod 2 is 0 and then 1 mod 2 2 mod 2 is 0 and then 1 mod 2 is 1. And after this again we will increment the count by 1. So you can see up to this the count is 2 and since these are also not similar the count becomes 3 and after that again we will divide by 2. So 2 by 2 is 1 and 1 by 2 is 0. So again we do this operation that is 1 mod 2 is equal to 1 and 0 mod 2 is equal to 0. So here also they are not equal. So I'll increment the count by 1. So finally the count becomes 4 and also here they both become 0. That is A is not greater than 0 and B is also is not greater than 0. So the while loop will stop here. And that's how we get the correct output.